Hey, day 69 Plant Paradox update. A um, couple things. Let's see. It's been a few days. So I tried the cauliflower rounds and they were really good. I toasted one and put a little cream cheese on it and then um, I had fried a pastured egg. And that was breakfast one day and they were good. I can't wait. I think tomorrow I'll try it maybe with tuna on it for lunch. Um, it actually was just fine toasted with a little bit of cream cheese. So. Um, very good I'll be buying more of those last night for dinner I didn't post anything but I used the pampered chef smoky applewood seasoning again on um, boneless skinless chicken thighs and grilled them but along with that I went ahead and grilled a Japanese um, sweet potato the last time I did the, that and actually it was the first time I had tried it I just baked it in the microwave so I did um, Oh, I put them in foil, a little bit of butter, salt and pepper, and put them on the grill, I think for about 40 minutes. And those were fantastic. Um, and then just a salad to go with that. So dinner was really great last night. I had enough for leftovers today. Um, but tonight I'm trying a new recipe with um, cauliflower, asparagus, and fennel. And so I'll post the recipe and um, maybe I'll do another instant reaction night because this sounds really interesting. Um, so anyways. Thank you. Check it. Check. Check back later. Okay, end of day 69, Plant Paradox check-in, and I just finished dinner, and it was from the Living Well Without Lectins cookbook. I use that website a lot too, uh, Lectin Free Mama, and she sends recipes to me every week in email, you know, we're, we're buddies like this. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's like, a, it's a stir fry, and the difference is there's um, fennel in here, and if you remember last time I made fennel, um, I didn't think I cooked it long enough because it was still very heavy on the licorice um, flavor. So I can smell a little bit of that in here, which is fine. I love licorice, just don't want it to overpower the dish. Um, and instead of cauliflower rice, it's cauliflower broccoli rice. And so for that, I made it in my own food processor. And for the broccoli, it said to use the um, stems of the broccoli, not the florets. So, um, and then there was a bunch of other vegetables, just stir fried, and as they were finished, three tablespoons of coconut milk, a tablespoon of coconut aminos, so like soy sauce, and um, then one beaten egg for protein, and it kind of helps, you know, thicken it up a little bit. So, I said I'd do instant reaction just because I haven't done one in a while, and what I think is really funny is every time I do this, it looks like I don't like the dish. <laughs> I, I don't know, I must just look funny while I'm trying something, but here it is. And hopefully it doesn't burn me, it's not too hot. But I let it sit here and warm for a little bit. So, take a small little bite and let's see. Perfect, very good. Hopefully I look like it really is. I sprinkled a little bit of aminos on top. Um, and that's just the right amount of seasoning. There's a little salt, salt and pepper in the dish when you're making it, um, but I like a lot of salt. So I added a little bit of the extra coconut aminos. Great dish, make it again. Like I said, it's just a basic stir fry. It had a few different um, veggies in it with having the fennel and the asparagus. So um, we'll check back tomorrow or the next day. Hang in there, bye. The more bites I get, the better it is. <laughs> just had to say that there's a lot of flavor in here and I think adding the egg gave it such a good consistency I love that um, anyways it's it's even better than I made it look so you'll have to try it <laughs>